Some industries are looking to solve their staffing shortages by hiring younger workers. As Elise Preston reports, part-time job postings are topping pre-pandemic numbers right now. Here we are. 19-year-old Ethan Bentz earns his dough at the Bagel Cafe in Las Vegas. Now that school is out, money is in. I expected to be, you know, an average first job pay, but that's, that's exceeded my expectations a little bit. Ethan is part of a growing teenage workforce. Last month, the share of 16 to 19-year-olds holding jobs rose to more than 33 percent, the highest rate since 2008. Ethan's boss is looking for more employees just like him. Anybody that walks in here, like I ask my customers, do you have a teenager son or a daughter They want to work? I have jobs. Employers, especially in leisure and hospitality, are struggling to fill jobs wiped out during the pandemic, but now bouncing back full force. Jersey Shore hotel owner Christina Ranoro increased the starting wage from $12 an hour to $15 an hour. We're really, really shorthanded. Economists say hiring challenges include parents struggling with childcare, foreign students unable to get work visas, and entry level seasonal work not paying as well as unemployment benefits. There's still this expanded unemployment benefit that's, you know, keeping some workers from coming back into the labor force, filling the jobs where there are openings. One of those openings went to 16-year-old Sophia Shannon. It's my first job ever, actually. <laughs> Sophia landed a job at a Michael store in Lexington, Kentucky, and expects more of her peers will punch in, too. We all are like, oh, we're out of COVID and we're all old enough to work now. Um, maybe we should do that. Teens across the country are finding a wealth of job opportunities that could make this a bankable summer. Elise Preston, CBS News, New York. More evidence the demand for nannies and babysitters is soaring right now as more and more people return to the office.